Hi, I'm John Feig, and I'm here to talk to you about some tips and tricks for developing a HealthConnect integration. To accelerate your HealthConnect development, we've built a companion Android app that we call the HealthConnect Developer Toolbox. The HealthConnect Developer Toolbox allows you to read and write data to HealthConnect end-to-end -end without needing a separate implementation just for testing. The HealthConnect Developer Toolbox provides a persistent draw-over UI to display updates or quickly inject data. This requires a few permissions to be granted. Allow display over other apps, allow notifications, allow all HealthConnect read and write permissions. The draw-over UI allows you to read and write data to HealthConnect without leaving the app that you're currently working on, which should help to speed up your testing iterations. Using either the draw-over or full UI you can read data that was written into HealthConnect or write data to HealthConnect for your app to read. Let's talk about some things to keep in mind as you're considering the UX design implications of integrating with HealthConnect. Take a look at how we get users set up with HealthConnect. Since this is a bit of a new model for exchanging data on Android, we're asking developers to promote HealthConnect, for example, via promo cards or notifications. It's helpful to focus on the user benefits such as gaining access to richer data that will help your applications drive better insights. As a note, you must check if HealthConnect is available and installed. However, the long-term goal is to have HealthConnect pre-installed. Asking users to connect to HealthConnect feels a bit awkward. Instead, consider explaining the functionality that will be enabled by granting HealthConnect permissions. Then, set expectations with a specific action that primes users for HealthConnect permissions. When people share their data with HealthConnect, they don't always understand what they're going to get. Onboarding through your app, therefore, needs to make that obvious. What is my data being used for? Why should I sync it to other apps? What benefits am I going to get? How is it going to improve my experience of the app over what I had before? Our user research has indicated that users will expect to be able to use your app settings as an entry point to manage their HealthConnect experience. With that in mind, please make sure to include a button for users to easily launch into HealthConnect to adjust permissions or view the data that has been stored. Additionally, it would be useful to include an affordance for users to connect or disconnect from HealthConnect somewhere in your app. We have a few other things to bear in mind as you move through your planning and integration work. Wear Health Services is an API for collecting real-time sensor data on Wear OS in a power-efficient way. HealthConnect can be combined with Wear Health Services to store and share the rich data from wearable sensors. HealthConnect is not available on Wear OS. You can use Wear Health Services to get the data from wearables. Your app can then send that data to the phone to store and share that data with HealthConnect. Health Services supports passive and active data collection. Developers need to add data collected from the watch and sync it to their app either directly or via the cloud, and then have their phone app write the data into HealthConnect. If you're interested in learning more about HealthConnect, here are a few sessions from this year's Android Developer Summit that provide deep dives on a few different topics. Thanks for watching along with this series on HealthConnect. We hope these videos have been useful to get you started building HealthConnect into your app. And remember to like and subscribe.